Dramatic flames overnight in Chicago's Hegwish neighborhood. Police say three different fires in the area had been ruled arson. And neighbors say it feels like history is repeating itself. CBS 2's Marissa Parr joins us live in Hegwish to tell us what investigators know so far. Marissa? Jim, take a look at this. This is someone's backyard. As people are starting their Easter Sunday dinner, some of them still don't have internet. This is because electric poles like this one were lit on fire and scorched some of the cables and electric wires that were running through it. Now, one thing that we understand is that just before midnight, before this all started, neighbors reported hearing loud bangs that either sounded like fireworks or gunshots before the alleys caught on fire. These are our brave first responders right here. On the eve of Easter Day, instead of pastels, Hegwish residents were seeing the bright amber light of flames. I felt how hot it was and there was smoke everywhere and I couldn't breathe and I was coughing and choking. Mary Sue Simons paused her Easter prep with family to show us what's left. I mean, there was a whole fence here with lined with garbage cans. They're all gone. OK, and the fence and of course this garage. In the alley between Buffalo and Burley, as flaming garbage cans melted like candles, neighbors tried to save what they could. My husband, he came running out. He grabbed the burning garbage can, which we have like normally four, to try not to let this get set on fire. But by that time, it was too late, and he burned his hand. Do you think it could have been worse if he hadn't done that? Yeah. At the same time, in the alley between Brandon and Baltimore, just two and a half blocks away, the same scene, garbage cans and garages engulfed in flame, even catching electric poles on fire. That's where the electricity went out and the internet went out. This is the second time they've done this For residents, it's like deja vu. This is a story on a mysterious serial arsonist we did in the exact same area of Hedwish in 2018. In three years, no one was charged and people here worried it would happen again. Because this is not a joke. You're messing with people's lives, with their property, with their money. Police have again ruled these alley fires as arson. And as Hegwish residents pick up the pieces from fires that took cars, memories, and robbed all of them of peace, they're focusing on the silver lining and hoping this time it's the last time. I'm just scared. People could have died. I, I'm just glad that everybody's okay and, you know, nobody got hurt. Now, here's something interesting. One of the neighbors here is a Freemason. His documents dating back to around the time of the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. This one's from 1873. These papers were able to survive the fire last night. Now, as for the investigation, police say they do believe that it was intentional, but there are no leads yet as to how the fire is ignited or who did it. Reporting live from Hegwish, Marissa Para, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.